Look around this playground. What can you see? You can see a lot of children having fun. You can also see a lot of motion. Different kinds of motion are fun on the playground. This child is swinging in two directions, forward and back. And this child is jumping in two directions, up and down. This merry-go-round keeps moving around in a circle in one direction. And these children are running in lots of different directions. Some kinds of motions repeat themselves, like this swinging motion. It goes back and forth, again and again. Or this merry-go-round. It goes around and around and around. Repeated motions like this are called patterns of motion. Let's make a pattern of motion with a swing. Look at the swing's position when it's not moving. When you give it a push, its position changes. It begins to move in a C-shaped pattern. When you push the swing again, it will move a greater distance and it will move at a higher speed, but its pattern will stay the same. Patterns can be used to predict motion. Let's look at one of the children on the swing. What if we stop him right here? Can you predict his future motion? That's right, he'll continue to move backward and then forward again. Let's compare a playground swing to a much larger swing, like this amusement park ride. People on the ride travel a greater distance than they would on a smaller swing. They definitely travel at a higher speed, but the C-shaped swinging pattern is the same. If we stop the ride like this, you know what's going to happen next, right? You guessed it. If we pay attention, we can see patterns in motion all around us, in small things and in big things. Watch for patterns in motion at school, at home, and on the playground. This inquiry preview will help you prepare the Moving Marbles activity. This hands-on activity requires 15 minutes of prep time, takes 30 minutes to complete, and works best when students are placed in small groups. The purpose of this activity is for students to investigate and observe the way objects move using a marble and a ramp. Motion is the process an object undergoes to change position. Motion can be recognized when an object's position changes. Look at the photo of the fire dancers. Notice how the fire's changing position is captured in the photograph. The fire is in motion. In 1686, Sir Isaac Newton developed three ideas to describe motion. Over time, these ideas were tested and are now considered to be scientific laws. Newton's first law of motion applies to this lesson. This law says that an object at rest continues to remain at rest unless acted upon by some force. Also, an object that is in motion continues to move in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by a force. It is this law of motion that can help you explain what your students will observe in this activity. As you prepare for this activity, complete this checklist before class starts. First, gather the materials. For each student group, you will need two books, cardboard, a marble, one strip of cardstock, and tape. To prepare materials for your students, you will need scissors and a ruler. Prepare the following materials prior to class to help save time. Cut the cardstock into strips, lengthwise. Make the strips about two inches wide. As an alternative, you can use a manila folder. One folder will provide you with enough strips for the activity. To allow students ample space to complete the activity, choose an open section of your classroom, gym, cafeteria, or hallway. To help ensure a smooth activity, include these topics in your pre-activity discussion with your class. Engage students by explaining that they will be observing the patterns of movement using marbles. Explain that their goal will be to get their marble to move in a curved path by the end of the class period. Determine how students are to return the marbles after the activity has been completed. The marbles are made of glass, 
which could be harmful if broken. Model for students how they should handle the marble and pass the marble to their partner. Flinging, tossing, or throwing the marble is not acceptable. Students should follow the procedure for this activity. However, teamwork is important for success. Students should be collaborating with the rest of their classmates in their group. Encourage students to discuss the activity and to share their ideas. Students will find that the marble will roll in a straight line on its own. Adding the curved guardrail to the ramp changes the position of the marble and makes it move in a curved path. When students finish, bring them together to discuss their findings. If some students were unable to view the expected observations, show the Inquiry Rewind student video before starting the discussion. Then, use the questions in the Teacher's Edition to guide your discussion.